Okay, once again, let's uh, double check on how far we are along in our program. I'm going to run it here. We've got a GTK window that says a title that says, This is my cool GTK window. You got four buttons uh, button one exits, button two hides button one, button three shows button one. We have a label that changes when we click on this label button. And uh, we also have uh, tool tips. So when I hover over my application, I get a little tool tip or over this button I get a tool tip and we have a uh, a text box here that when it changes it changes the title to the text box has been changed what we're going to do today is make it so that as you change the text it will also change the title to say what the text box says and we're also going to link the label to it so let's close this we're going to go into our text editor and edit our code. We are going to um, come down here and just as a review we've got our text box which is a GTK entry and it's connected to this function so when it's changed it runs this function which is text changed. We'll come up here to text changed and this is real simple. We're going to erase the plain text we have in there and substitute in its place self text box, which is our object, our text box object, our entry object. And we're going to say dot get underscore text and then parentheses. We'll save the code and we'll run it again. And as I type here, you can see the title equals what is typed inside our text box here until you run out of space. We'll exit out of that. We'll add another line to that function. And the line's going to say for self dot label one. So this is our object, our label object. We're going to set the text for that object equal to self dot text box, which is our text box object. We're going to say get text and then we have our parentheses and our closed parentheses. Save that, run it, and as we type here you can see the title changes and our label changes and because everything's inside that same little vertical box, um, or sorry, horizontal box, everything is resized out to fit the label. I'm going to close that. Let's add another button to this. And we're going to add a button I will call self.button5. And button 5 will also be a GTK button. And it will read clear text. And then we're going to connect that button object. So self.button5 connect to when it's clicked, it will connect to a function we're about to create that we'll call clear text. We'll put a little underscore in there to make it more readable. We'll close that out. We also have to add that or pack that into our uh, box container. So we're going to do that here. Self dot box one dot pack start self dot button five. So we've created our button. We've linked it and we've packaged it. Now we need to create the function right uh, here. No, nope, sorry, right here. <laughs> and we'll go up here and we will call that function. We'll define it and let me paste what I put in there. We're going to call it clear text colon self comma widget close the parentheses colon and then 
we're going to say self dot text box dot set text and we're just going to set it like that with our parentheses and quotations and no text and that will clear it out so we'll save that we'll run it we'll type all this out we'll hit clear text and not only does it clear the text here but it clears the label why it does not clear the title there I do not know but as we start typing again it will change the title so that is how you can in real time affect the title and label other objects uh, change their text as you type into a text box and a button to clear it you can also change this clear button to set the text inside there to something so instead of just putting empty quotations you can put uh, a string uh, of some sort in there and uh, it will do the same so that is another look at text boxes and how they can work hope you're enjoying these tutorials and I hope you have a great day hope you visit filmsbychris.com